Hey yo, it's Idiot with a Drill here, and yet another update on the kitchenette. Are you sick of it yet? I'm not, I'm learning, I'm earning, I'm burning with a passion to finish this stuff quick. So, uh, today, a little bit further progress, I'm working on this do wa diddy doo doo. So, uh, that was where the old spinny woo da, that's what we call them down here, spinny woo da, was. And gravy sakes. Hopefully I'm getting a good shot for y'all, but that's a rusted out motherfucker. That's tin roof rusted. Yeah, so um, the plan of attack is uh, I like the light. Look at look at the light that comes in from that. Oops. It's nice. I mean, I'm going to be having so much light in here. It's not really going to matter, but... Uh, I do like the light that comes through that, and it's a real cloudy day, but in the summer, with the way the sun tracks here, that is just going to be kind of like a magnifying glass of heat coming in, just a ray of hatred, so, and I, I like that, you know, we've got a nice view of the jacaranda there, so that becomes this beautiful purple thing, you know, when it blooms summer times, but... This kitchen isn't about a view. I mean, we're gonna have this view. We're gonna have this view out the front. So, are you kidding me? Do I need to have another view? I don't. I don't need to get greedy. That's the lesson of today, right? Anyway, so, um, the plan is to just cover that. It can always be accessed at some other point if I wanted to do some sun tunnel-like thing or something. But for now, I need I, I, you know, I plan to just put a brand new roof on this because I'm going to take you up top and show you how nasty that thing is. Um, but I'm just going to, I just want to seal it up so that bugs can't get into the upper unit section and, you know, get into the rafters. So what I've done is uh, when I cut out my doors here, I had, uh, it, the doors originally were, you know, they, here was the center and it slid open. The pieces here came out to like this, well... They were that wide right there. So what I did, you can see, went and chopped, well, cut with a nice uh, Diablo 56 tooth uh, aluminum blade meant for cutting non-ferrous metals and plastics, corrugated roofing materials and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so let's go over towards the, the good times. Uh, I'm doing this no-handed, by the way. That's right. That's the kind of skill set you look at. That. Yikes! Look at this roof. That's not paint. This this was a white roof. Yeah, I mean, there's paint on this. I just put some rust-oleum on there just to have a little something that's going to be underneath this. But this this is why we're putting in a brand new top. We're putting in a top like that. That's the corrugated roofing. Sun tough, sun top, something like that. I'm gonna match that. One more step, there we go. We're up and moving. So the idea is we got a perfect little patch. Look at that. No, holy shit, it's not. They're different sizes. You motherfuckers. How dare you? How dare you? Okay. Okay, I have a solution. So, well, let's take a little gander. Fuck you, tough shed. Really? You gotta use smaller ones on the face than on the top? You can't have it all be like... Alright, so this is good. Look at that, that's tight. That's all right. Obviously the lengths of in between here are different than what's up on here. Probably should have waited to put that on. Is that stuff? It's tack dry? Yeah, it's tack dry. Alright, so what I'm going to have to do... Oof. I have to find a way to make this a wider piece. So, 
I need to... And where's the hole go to? See, it's, it's two, so I definitely have to have two and I have to have lip over the edge. So I gotta do a little, a little cutting to make it extend in the middle, but it still overlap. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, so. Well, that's all right. We adapt, we overcome. We're looking at like a finger. We're looking at half inch, a little more than half inch maybe. Oh, all right. We're not gonna go down one hand. That's a bugger. That's a bugger. All right, so I'm gonna pause while I get some math going. Whoa. Okie dokie. So, what we've got. We got the sheet up there where the hole is about right. I'll turn you a little bit more. The hole is like this. It crosses over a little bit. So, we definitely need to two have at least two ridges worth of material plus some extra right but this center piece isn't wide enough we need to be able to extend that out so it's not going to be the prettiest thing in the world but i do believe it's going to work we're going to go ahead and um cut right about well yeah right around here we're going to cut right down there flip this piece over on that Wait, wait, wait. Is that gonna be, is that gonna work? Did I think about that right? Hold on. Shit, let me think. Okay, so yeah, pretty much what I was thinking was right. Because we need to extend this piece right here to be wider <clears throat> what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna cut this piece right here a little extra we want a little bit of a lip left on it all right and then we're gonna cut this little ridge off we can go right inside the ridge line cut that and then we can use this space over here flipped over to be an extendable piece in here in the two this will most likely have to come off as well so that's the plan right now it'll be two separate sheets obviously but they'll have some overlap I can probably even give myself a little more gap than that just so I have something to really glue to um, so. <clears throat> Put this down. We're gonna cut the metal, so yeah, I'm gonna give myself a little more, just a little more, because I only needed to be able to get an extra half inch up there, but I want that extra space to have for my construction adhesive. Plug your ears. Side, bring you over here. Bring it over so we can see that a little better. Yeah, come in. Give myself a little more working room. Voila, voila. So, when you take this ridge off, I'm quite certain as well. That out the way. Yeah, yeah. Come back in, corn tack. <laughs> Ooh, 
that starts chipping. Definitely want to wear those goggles with that stuff. Metal shavings in the eye, I hear. Don't feel good. All right, so now we've got something that we can use as a patch. Either direction, doesn't matter. Here, matching screws on the bottom. It's great, it's groovy. It's great and screwy. Set that there. Pick you up, take you with me. Two separate sheets. You know what I'm saying? Let's take these sexy goggles off too. All right, there we go. No handed once again. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. One foot at a time. Definitely. All right. So here's how it goes. Now, obviously, we got a little, a little fall going on here, and not much we need to worry about with that. All right, we put one piece over here. Another piece over here. Yeah, that's just enough. Now, I think it'd be smarter probably to go ahead and buy that extra footage. Yeah, let's see, not a lot of overhang there. I could have thought a little deeper on that, but that's enough to get a glue seam and keep the bugs out. It's enough to keep the bugs out. Hopefully you saw what I was putting on. But that's, uh, that's a patch right there. Looking good, looking sharp. I'm not gonna have to worry about anything really scooting in there. And uh, it's not like I need it watertight. I just need it bug tight. So um, some construction adhesive on that. And we have a roof patch good enough to uh, Keep the bugs out, and then I'm gonna be obviously putting in that corrugated stuff. Oh, let's burn it, let's burn it all. There we go. Let's right, get into the safety of the cave. All right, well, yeah. So check it. Huh? No light coming through that now. That's good. Yes. Let's see. It's poke it. Let's poke it a little bit. See if it flattens into that. If I apply some pressure from the top, some weight up top. We're able to get those to seem pretty good. So good enough. Oh baby. Well hello there. Construction adhesive. Cut the tip. I'm gonna say just to cut just the tippity. That should be good. It's like about a quarter inch or less, maybe an eighth. <coughs> Word on here. Come on, baby. There isn't something down inside I have to fuck with, is there? Ugh. Are you the type that requires a a poking? You are. That's lame. Hold the phone. All right, we're back. For some reason, this thing, well, this one doesn't come with a poke. This one's got a poker. So we're gonna put tab A in slot B. Can I get in there? Is it far enough? Come on now. Huh? 
It's got to be. Yeah? I think so. We'll find out here in a minute. <laughs> Are you? F What's going on? Is this stuff just too old? <clears throat> okay. Fuck. Okay. So, my solution. <laughs> Some of you may know what this is, but moment. It is a tool. All right, that feels kind of gummy. Yeah. This stuff might be too fucking old. Yeah. Shit, I'm running out of light. God damn. All right, another one. Hold, oh, please. All right. We got some Loctite Proline Premium construction of adhesive. Let's see if this one's too old. Uh, put the top, cut the tippity tip. Oh, you know what? Check this out. Maybe you guys don't know. I forgot I had this. These things have spout cutters on them. Inside, the yellow one's easier. Little hole right there. <clears throat> Stick the tip in and circumcise it. So, put her in, give it a squeeze. That's a little fat, but that's all right. And gunways, I mean, it's a fine gun, but it doesn't really have the quick release mechanism, which is this little piece right here that allows you to relieve the pressure so you don't keep on spitting goo and you don't want to spit goo, boys. You know what's up. All right, so get it in here, stick it like that. Start pulling it forward. All right, buddy, can you squirt for me? Are you gonna do it? You, do you have a fucking tip too? All right, let's see what happens here. Hope it doesn't fucking, you know what? Release the pressure. Oh, I put too much on there. Go. All right. All right. I think we're in, I think we're in luck here, people. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is good. Should have a towel with me to make sure I can wipe stuff off. But I'm pretty careful. I guess I didn't need it down the center. It's not going to be getting anything to connect to there. doesn't mean have thought of everything. All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna do that to both sides. So we got a, a positive connection on both fronts, both surfaces, I guess. That hole needs to be bigger. Down in the tube. Pressure off, our secondary stab. Try to get that hole on the inside a little wider. Okay. All right. And again, I'm not, I'm not trying to make a water height seal. This is just so that it's stuck there enough so that 
bugs can't get in. Now, do I want to put, that's a good question, it'd be smarter to put the fat one on, I uh, we should do this one first, and have that seam go over it more. I'm just, I'm doing like an S pattern down the inside of the valley here. in the center on that. Okay. Actually, no, that's going to be the outer end. That's right. Hold on. I'm trying to remember which way I was doing this. So if it's on here, I think I want it to be on this way. Okay. Okay, so this whole do what did he gets a solid thing. Now, this stuff I I probably didn't need to use anywhere near this much at all, but fuck it, this stuff's not expensive, <clears throat> and I do want it to stick real good. Way. And we're going to do the same thing for a positive contact. Just layer up both sides. Ooh, are those screws? Oh, I've got some things in the way here. I'm going to have to go get my drill real quick. I am running out of light. But those screws are going to get in the way of doing what I want. Pressure. Put that over there. And pause you. All right, back. Yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple little screws from the mounting plate that was here before. Shit. Hold on. No. Okay, got it. All right. Yeah. Wipe that goo off of this thing. We don't lose our specialty bit magnetic DeWalt stuff. Okay, got those screws out the way. We're good to play. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the piece here and pull it right here and give it a little push down get the stick to stuff there okay, let's grab this other one of it. This up a little bit, put another bead right along the seam a little closer. Again, I'm this isn't really all that necessary. I'm just being extra freaky deaky because that's who I am. I got 
goo coming out. That's nice. And it works for me. The brick there. It gets a hold of you. <clears throat> Alright, another brick there. Okay, we're gonna take down some tools and get some more bricks up on there. Is this fun for anybody to watch? I don't know. Okay, this is no handed. <laughs> Ay! Cabron. Alright. Beautiful sky. So great. Alright, well you're off. Kilter, but it don't friggin' matter. Okay. And for another one down the center channel. Actually, when I think about it, better off there and there. And that. That's alright. Alright, that. I think that'll be alright. I can actually move this more like to here and more to here. Seems almost like, well, maybe there's some debris up on there, because this one definitely fit flush on there, but this one seems to have a little resistance, but it's not a perfectly cleaned off area, but uh, I'm satisfied with that as a patch for now. Um, yeah, be careful on those things. I was like, oh, we're going to wipe off the excess, but you'll slice your finger open real quick on that stuff. So, best to just leave it. Drop that. Grab our other tool. Uh, other little thing to note uh, is you don't want to really bend all these things. So, I, I uh, bungeed a 2x4 right here. Sorry, right here. So, it's resting on the wall frame instead of the. Uh, um, ladder resting on the roof overhang. Those things would bend easy. Just a little pro tip from an amateur. All right, let's go check the inside real quick. <laughs> well, there's nothing much to check because I've just buttoned it up, as you know. So hopefully uh, uh, there's enough gap space that I don't get any glue contact with my, <laughs> my plywood sheet when it's over with. And even if I do, I can just leave that plywood sheet up there. It doesn't matter. Um, it's going to be held in place by the insulation and the drywall. So um, that's going to be my update for what's going on. Update. What is that? It's not even an update. That's just like, hey, come with me and feel my pain. And see, everything requires more than you think it's going to require. I think that should be a rule. Everything requires more than you think it's going to require. Because that's been the experience I've had. So, God bless it when something comes together easy. Enjoy it when you get it. Because it won't last. Alright, idiot with the drill. Take care, y'all. So, before I get to gluing that stuff up top, when the show, what I did is put some bracing in. Temporary bracing that has to screwed in just so that we have a uh, solid surface to push down on, put weight on, so that I can get a good glue bead. So, just you put my plastic uh, level in here at the bottom edge, locked it in, grabbed a thin sheet of plywood, and locked it in on two sections. So, it's good. <laughs> 